Hey, what's going on my fellow jewelers? So if you have watched my jewelry channel for any amount of time, you know I love chic, I love easy, and I love bling. I love those things. And so when I make things that are out of my like realm or they're out of my like mm, liking, I'm always like, oh, I don't know if I like this or ooh. And my husband always tells me, Des, this is not about you. Des, you're not making that jewelry piece for you, which is true 99% of the time. Most of the time I make jewelry, it's for somebody else or for you guys or whatever and so this piece I have um, been following with this girl, Martha Calvo. I'm so sorry, Martha, if I said your last name wrong. And she has some pretty funky pieces, some really out of my taste, out of my realm. But as my husband would say, it's not about you, Des. And so today we're making a necklace inspired by one of her pieces called Happy Go Lucky. Oh my gosh, this thing is so funky. Can I tell you it's funky? We got pearls on one side, we got a chain on another side, and we got these like happy smiley faces in the middle with a little bit of chain. It's so funky, but it's not about me. And I see lots of people wanting to make this necklace. And so I'm like, hey, let me help you learn how to make this necklace. Because in her store, in her online store, it's $160. What? Are you serious? Yes, I'm dead serious. So I'm not only teaching you how to make um, chic and easy, I'm also teaching you how to make a lot cheaper version than the original. So thank you, Martha, for the inspiration. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that bell to get notifications because I'm all about the how to of any kind of jewelry making that's right the crazy the fun the chic the bling the beautiful so you and me let's get started okay so let's get started making this funky fun necklace and so I have um, the list for the material as well as the tools in the description below. So go ahead and check that out um, I got a lot of material from different places I was looking everywhere and so I got my beads actually. I got my beads from Michael's and it came in um, this wonderful different size package. Um, and so I use um, some of the medium beads here and here and some of the smaller beads here. So it worked out perfectly for this necklace. Um, I got the, also the smiley faces at Michael's. The chain I did get at Walmart. They have this big chain that I love. And then they have the smaller chain um, that we're gonna loop in between the beads. And then um, also our chain to make an adjustable necklace came with the big the big chain. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then the other fun beads that go in between, I actually got from this kit. I have worked with this company before and I love this company. I've done some videos for them and I think they're really great. And this is a great kit. It has um, letters in it and numbers. It has different smiley faces and sports. Um, balls and hearts and stars and just so I really like this kit. I can put the link in the description below um, if you want to purchase this kit because it's pretty it's a it's more for a bracelet but you can use it for necklaces as well. But anyway love it and so let's get started. Um, and so I would set up your pattern that you're going to want to do. I have my pattern of beads right here. Um, I have about 16 pearls here and then I have these smiley faces and then I just kind of randomly put beads in like I saw in um, the necklace, the happy go lucky necklace. And so I just put some random beads here and then I put my chain here. And so you're going to want to, um, we're gonna assemble it. We're gonna actually put it on our wire right now first. And so I'm gonna pull out my wire. Um, I love this wire, got it at Walmart as well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna pull out our wire. And then I am going to just start stringing my beads. I'm gonna string all my pearls. Um, and so I'm just gonna put one pearl on the wire and then the next pearl on the wire. So you can go ahead and do that. And then um, stop when you get to the funky beads, the fun different beads and stuff. And I will show you what to do next. So go ahead and string your pearls. Okay, so now that you've strung your pearls, um, you're gonna wanna put, I, I have um, one purple kind of seed bead, and then I have my smiley face, which I think is so stinking cute. Oh my goodness, this is a cute smiley face. And now I'm gonna put one more bead after the smiley face, put my one more bead, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my, my chain on, I'm gonna put my chain on because on the happy go lucky necklace, you you have two chains kind of interlocking. And so I'm gonna put that chain on, I'm not gonna hook it back in yet. And then I'm gonna put 
a few more beads and I've decided to make my purple star kind of like the middle piece where the the two chains um, cross over each other and so I am going to put these beads um, through and then after I put these beads through I'm actually going to put on my next chain before I even do this one I'm going to put on my next chain and I'm gonna put this chain on, okay? You ready for this? Put this chain on. Now I'm gonna put my my star chain and then, haha, then we will put the other, the chain I had already put on and I'm gonna put the last link. Yes, 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 yes. So do you see that? I have put um, the first chain on here I went down, I put my second chain on, and it's it's dangling right here for now. And then when I put my star bead on, I put my other chain on. And now I'm going to continue um, putting the rest of the beads on until I get to just before um, the happy bead, the, the emoji bead. You know, I wasn't really fond of this necklace, but when I made it and put my own style on it, I like purple, I like pink, I like girly stuff. I kinda, I'm kinda liking it, which is weird. I didn't think I would, because <laughs> I thought it'd be, oh, this is for somebody else. You make necklaces for other people all the time, but, um, but I actually kinda think this is cute. Okay, so we are um, putting on this bead. And then now just before I put on um, this next purple seed bead, I'm gonna put my chain on. Yes, and see now they're crossing over like it is in the other, the original Happy Go Lucky necklace. And now I'm going to put my seed bead on and my smiley face. I think I actually wanna do one more seed bead. I have one right here, which is great. I was just having those be decoration. <laughs> and so I put one more seed bead. Oh, this is actually I'm, I'm not too bad. And so now we want to connect our wire with our chain. So what we're going to need to do to connect it to the chain is you're going to need to get a, um, a jump ring. A jump ring is just a ring that has a split down the middle. You're going to need to open it. If you don't know anything about jump rings, I have made a tutorial on it and you can go check that out. So I'm going to put my jump ring on. I'm going to grab my chain and I am going to put my jump ring on. So the reason you do a jump ring instead of just connecting it straight to the link is the links have bigger holes. They have bigger holes. And so the wire um, comes out of the link, um, but with a jump ring, the wire will stay in the jump ring a lot better and it, your necklace won't fall apart. So, okay, what we're gonna do is I'm putting on my crimping bead and then I'm gonna get my jump ring that I just put on and I'm going to wrap my wire around the jump ring and I'm gonna put my crimping bead on, right? And you wanna leave a little give, just a little bit, a little give for your jump ring. You're gonna take your long nose pliers and you're gonna crimp that crimping tube. And now you have a little bit of wire and you're just gonna put it through your bead because if it's poking out, it'll poke the person wearing it, whether it's you or whether you're making it for a friend or whatever. And so, or a client, you may sell jewelry. You don't want anybody who's gonna wear it um, for them to poke them. So now we have that, oh, it's coming together. This happy-go-lucky necklace. I actually like the name of that. It's a pretty cute name. Way to go, Martha. You named it pretty cute. You named it pretty cute. Okay, and so now I've cut off a bit of the wire right here. I'm just gonna move my wire right there. And now I want to connect this chain because this is gonna be what makes the necklace adjustable. And so now I need to put my jump ring on. I wanna put my jump ring on my smaller chain. Now this, again, the smaller chain came with the bigger chain, which I think is super cool. And then I'm gonna put my jump ring on. I'm gonna close up my jump ring, make sure there's no gap. When you close up your jump ring, go watch my video on how to do it. And then now I need my other um, crimping bead. So I'm gonna grab my crimping bead. I'm gonna put it on my wire and then I'm gonna grab my jump ring that's at the end of my chain. And I am going to put my wire around my jump ring and put my crimping bead through. But the difference now, is that 
there is a gap. There is a gap. You don't want a gap because your necklace will be ugly. Just saying, it's not cute. And you're gonna pull that wire, making sure you still have a little bit of give, making sure there's even some room here so you can put your wire back through and you're going to use your long nose pliers and crimp your crimping bead, okay? And this is a little bit too much wire, so I'm just gonna cut off probably half of it, depending on how much wire you have. And then I'm gonna put my wire back through my pearl. You don't want any wire poking out because it will hurt the person wearing it. That's a no-no, okay? Whoo, we are almost done. You're doing so good. I'm really proud of you, you go. So now, to make it an official necklace, you need to have your, your class. You need to have your lobster class or whatever class you wanna use. You can use lobster. There's um, another um, class you can use to make it adjustable, but I always like to use lobster class um, because I think they're really pretty and it goes great for an adjustable. So I'm getting my jump ring. I'm gonna put it at the end of my big chain. I'm gonna grab my lobster class and there's a little hole in your lobster class right here at the end and you're gonna put your jump ring through and then you're gonna close them up so they stay together. Make sure there's no gap when you close them up. You're gonna close up and do it really well. And there, my fellow jewelers, you have your happy-go-lucky necklace. It's so cute. I just think this is so funky. It's so, it's kind of, it's kind of, um, kind of like growing on me. It's kind of funky. So I don't know what you think. Give me a big old thumbs up, comment, share, like. I really want to hear what you think about this necklace. I'm dying to hear your thoughts on this necklace. So I hope you enjoyed my show, my channel, my video. If you like it, make sure you subscribe. Also check me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. And I also do on YouTube, I do shorts. I do a sneaky peeky of the wiki um, before I show the video so you can see what's about to come and this necklace is pretty funky and coming but before I go I love praying for my viewers I love praying for you guys and one of the things I felt like the Lord wanted me to pray and I prayed this before but your worth that you would know your worth when God created you he created you priceless there's nothing you can do to earn your worth you can't lose all the weight you can't have the best job you can't make all the money to to um, increase your worth that when you were made by God, a loving God, your worth was already priceless. And so I want you to realize that you don't have to run after your worth. You don't have to run after trying to be better, that you already are amazing. All right. So God, I thank you that when you create us lovingly with your hands, you designed our hair color, our eye color, you designed our skin color, you designed, you designed how high we'd be, how tall we'd be, that you put passions in us. And um, you, design, you, you create our worth, which is priceless. Each person is priceless, and there's nothing we can do or say to take away or add on to our worth. God, I pray that my viewers would know that. God, they would know your love. They would know how valuable they are, and that they wouldn't have to run after what the world says is valuable. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. I'm probably going to go back to a little bit of my comfort zone of, like, bling and color and stuff. But, hey, I still love to hear your feedback. All right, guys, I'll check you later. Have a great day. Bye!